You may have heard that a computer processing an input is the computer thinking. This is a common misconception, as computers do not have the ability to think. Instead, a computer's processor can only read binary switches and choose between zero and one. A modern computer is a powerful tool because there are millions of these switches, meaning millions of these choices are being made each second. The process in IPO is an action or a series of actions provided by a program. These actions have been defined as an algorithm by a programmer and these algorithms have been implemented as code to create a program. It's important to remember that a computer will only action what it has been told to do. A great way to demonstrate this is by creating a physical IPO machine using a cardboard box. Input an object, process it, explaining that the machine is going to multiply it by two, for example, and output the result. You can also make an object larger or smaller. To develop this further and prepare your learners for applying IPO to computer systems, move from a physical representation to an abstract one. Using this image, your pupils might say that the process is to make more stars, but they could be more precise. Work with them to understand the importance of precision and that the computer will only do what it is told. So the process could be double it or add one. Think of some ways to adapt this activity. For example, you can provide the process and output so that your learners provide the input. Or try using numbers instead of pictures. Using the comment section below, share ways in which you can make the IPO machine activity relatable for your pupils and describe an activity which you would use to demonstrate IPO using resources that you have to hand.